Welcome again to another session on geometry. We are uh, in triangles and its angles chapter and in this session we are going to uh, uh, deal with another very important theorem which is called exterior angle theorem. So let's start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, draw the uh, figure as I you know explain the uh, given theorem. So what is angle exterior angle theorem? So you know what an exterior angle to a triangle is. So let's first uh, draw a triangle. So here I'm drawing a triangle ABC. So this is ABC. So this is ABC and let me extend BC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from B to C like that. So I have extended it and uh, let me mark a point over uh, extended BC. Let's call this point B. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this angle. So angle um, B C and A. Okay, so you can see this comes out to be 147.99, right? Now, let's see what uh, we achieve here. So, we I'm going to measure another angle. So, which one is B, A and C. Okay, so B is 79.8 degrees. You can see that. Okay, and one more angle that is C, B and A. Now, uh, I have measured angle A and angle B and angle ACB, ACD, which is the external angle. So let me write something here. So what I'm going to write is, uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to measure, I'm, I'm going to check what is, uh, what will happen if I add gamma and beta. So let me write that. So in this, you can also learn how to actually um, use this tool to validate any geometric you know relationship so cab so angle cab uh, plus angle what is that angle abc is it abc which is nothing but uh, in my uh, definition i have taken that as beta and gamma so let me add beta beta here is beta and i will add gamma to it so i've added beta plus gamma let's see what happens okay so here is you can check that you know, I have added CAB and uh, ABC and the sum of these beta plus gamma is actually equal to ACD. That's what external angle, exterior angle theorem suggests. That exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of the two angles. Which two angles? Interior opposite angles. So opposite to this angle here are two angles. What A and B is it? So if you add A and B, you will get the external angle ACD. I hope this is clear. So let's try to you know move around this point and um, see what happens every time it is matching or not. So let me keep it here. And we see that indeed it matches. So CAB plus ABC is actually equal to 118.83 degrees. So it works for any any configuration. Any configuration, right? See, if it is 90 and 68.2, so 158.2. So I hope you understood this. Now in the subsequent portion of the uh, video, let's try to prove this theorem. Hello guys. So we saw the uh, validation of the given theorem in the previous part of this session. So now let's try and prove this session. So what is given? Given is exterior angle theorem. This is a statement given. If a side of a triangle is produced, the exterior angle so formed is equal to sum of their two interior opposite angles so let's first understand what does it mean so exterior angle what is exterior angle so let's say this is exterior angle let us call it x okay and x is equal to sum of the two interior opposite angles so these are interior opposite this is let's say y and this is z okay so you can identify very easily so this angle is the supplement of the exterior angle so this will not be the interior opposite angle so interior opposite angle will be the other two angles apart from this let's say this w okay so for x y and z are the interior opposite angles let's say if you had this external angle this one this one okay so for this what will be the interior opposite angle so for this interior opposite will be y and w y and w and let's say if you had this exterior angle 
so for this one the interior opposite will be z as and w right for this it was y and w so i hope you understood what is meant by exterior angle and interior opposite angles now what is to be proven to prove to prove you have to prove that x is equal to y plus z x equals to y plus z let's see how to prove what do we know basically so we know there is a triangle so the, and there are angles involved so one thing is very clear that angle sum property would be used here so can i not say that x plus y not x plus y sorry uh we have to say that y plus z plus w is how much this is 180 degrees isn't it angle sum property so let's write one and this is because of angle angle sum property of a triangle property of a triangle right angle sum property of a triangle is 180 degrees now also also can we not write that w plus x or we can write w w plus x w plus x is 180 degrees right this is equation number two right so from here what can you say you can say w is equal to 180 degrees minus x let's say equation number three and now what you do from one and three what I'll, i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute w for this given relationship so from one one is y plus z and instead of this w i will write 180 degrees 180 degrees minus x and the rhs of one was 180 degrees right so what did i do basically i replaced this w by this w 180 minus x okay i hope this is clear so if you simplify what will you get y plus z minus x plus 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees so clearly you can cancel these two 180 degrees the same so what do i get i get y plus z is equal to x this is what is the external angle theorem okay similarly you can establish that angle let's say angle this one let, let me call this as x dash so you can say x dash will be equal to y plus w y plus w and let's say this one is x double dash this one is x double dash this angle is x double dash so similarly you can say x double dash is equal to z plus w so all of these are true all of these are true another important uh, aspect to this theorem is if you see since let me write it here since since uh, x is equal to y plus z then clearly x is greater than y and x is greater than z because x y and z all are positive quantities so x is greater than y and x is greater than z right that means what do i infer we infer that exterior angle so let me write it exterior angle exterior angle of of a triangle of a triangle is greater than greater than than either of either of interior interior opposite interior opposite angles right so this is another very important fact about this exterior so what did we learn in this we learned that uh, exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles and in exterior angle is always greater than either of the interior opposite angles and there are six exterior angles so this theorem holds for each one of them there's no particular exterior angle for which it holds it holds for all of them